بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful My dear students you are welcome to these sessions concerning the course of reading too General instructions for the short material In these videos I'm gonna to give you brief reviews of the passages included in this book. New words are gonna to be explained as well as a described and detailed explanation will be followed. After watching the videos, you are kindly invited to do three steps. After each or after watching each video, you have to watch the video, summarize it and add questions. The three, the three steps are as, as follows. Number one, watch the video or the videos carefully. Number two, summarize the main ideas and concepts in the videos. Number three, add the most important questions in the video or any other ones for further discussions. <clears throat> the answers of the three above mentioned questions should be sent to the researcher through his WhatsApp individually for assuring of watching the video. These questions and answers will be taken into consideration during the discussion sessions. Now let us uh, get started. The course is named or entitled Reading 2. Unit 1, Selection 1, means the first passage. It has a title of the true concept of religion. Now let us discuss together the new vocabulary of the passage. The first word here is concept. Concept means the idea or generalizations or conception or notion or stereotype. The second one is the religion. Religion is the belief of God or gods. Number three, or the other word, abused, means misused. Suppression means oppression. Pretext means expediency, the ria. Manipulated means doctored. Domination means overruling or control. Elite means the selected people in a society. Alike means equally. Lunch means started. Debased means mistreated at low level. Preach means teach. Indisputable means emphatic. Changeless means fixed. Jesus means Christ, Sayyid al-Masih. Irrespective of means regardless of. Debase means humiliate. Inexhaustible means abundant and countless. Endurance means bearing difficulties and worship. Now let us go to the passage uh, itself. The passage is entitled The Concept of Religion. Through history, religion has been abused, it means misused and misunderstood. Some people use it as a means of exploitation and suppression. Suppression means self-control. Others used it as a pretext or an excuse for prejudice and persecution, means oppression. Others, therefore, or other, furthermore, manipulated, influenced it as a source of power and domination over the elite and the masses alike 
similar in the same way. In the name of religion, unjustifiable wars have been launched. Freedom of thoughts has been oppressed. Science has been or been persecuted. And man's dignity and honor have been debased. Debased means to make somebody or something less value or respected. It means uh, devalue. In short, in the, name of, in the name of religion and injustice, an injustice has been be, or has often been inflicted, suffered upon humanity with the result that religion itself suffered many loses. So the first paragraph talks us about uh, through the history how religion was used by people in different you know, uh, means. Let us move to the second paragraph. The second paragraph, these historical facts which no one can deny, but is this the proper function of religion or the right approach to it? So the writer or the author asks us, is this the true religion or the approach of the true religion? And he gives us the answer. The indisputable answer is an emphatic no. So he answered that it is not considered religion. There are many religious or religions in the world. Each religion, each one claims, pretend, to be the one and only the true religion. So each religion pretends to be the one. Yet a true religion come from God for the right guidance of man. So the true religion, as the author said, the religion that guides man, al-insan. In this respect, or in this sense, the Islamic concept of religion is unique in the broadest sense of the world, of the world. So Islam is considered as one of the most respectful religions among other religions. Uh, the second paragraph, it should be borne in mind that Islam was not a breach by Prophet Muhammad alone. So our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not, is not the only one who taught us about Islam. It had been taught before by the prominent prophets, Al-Anbiya al-Sabiqeen or Al-Anbiya al-Mashhurin, before him. The true followers of Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Moses, Musa alayhi salam, and Jesus, wal Masih, the Holy Quran asserts. The Holy Quran asserts this fact. Have all been Muslims? Anahum kanu anbiya, kanu muslimin. It is this sense that Islam has been and will continue to be the true universal religion of God. So the writer asserts that Islam has been and will be continue to be the universal religion of God. The one, Al-Awhad, and Changeless, Waladhi la yataghayyab. Besides, in addition to what mentioned above, it appeals to the human nature, which is fundamentally the same, irrespective of time, place, age, or any other consideration. The third paragraph, bearing this in mind, means that if we have considered all the above mentioned information in mind, the Islamic concept maintains that religion is not only a spiritual and intellectual necessity. So Islam or the Islamic concept is not only spiritual and intellectual necessity, but also a social and universal need. It is not to bewilder. To be bewilder means to confuse man, but to guide him. So the aim goal of Islam is to guide 
man according to guide man into the right path or action it is not to debase him but to elevate his moral nature so Islam uh, elevates raises the man's moral nature okay it doesn't it is not to deprive man of anything useful or burden him or to oppress his qualities but to open for him inexhaustible treasures of sound thinking and right action it is not to confine with him to confine him to narrow limits into wider horizons of the truth and goodness al khair in other words true religion is to reconcile man with his creator with himself and with the universe means the globe or the world furthermore the true religion educates man and it trains him in hope and patience in its truthfulness and honesty in love for the right and God encourage encourage and endurance all of which are required to the mastery of the great of living in addition true religion secures man against fears and spiritual loses moreover it assures him of God's aid and unbreakable alliance alliance means coalition them provides him with peace and security and gives his life a purpose and meaning so Islam is very very great uh, paragraph number five that is what a true religion can do for humanity any religion which falls short of these objectives is not Islam so the writer asserts that without achieving the above mentioned benefits or objectives it is not Islam or rather it is not religion at all consequently any man who fails to draw these benefits from religion is not religious or God minded so any uh, man who does not benefit from you know the religion the Islam itself is not considered a religious man Dini okay this is the end of the first uh, passage which entitled the true concept of religion uh, until we meet again see you next time and goodbye